Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever this happens to be arriving in your moment of now. I had a really, I came across my doorstep yesterday and there was like this little square package and I'm like, who's this from? What's this? I didn't order anything. And it was from a YouTuber who has an incredible platform. She um, utilizes the oracle cards, tells stories, and pulls from the collective in a generalized manner that is beautifully wise and it has space for healing. She shows you um, perspectives in ways that... Um, she's definitely the type of person that you're like, yeah, I want to be friends with her. <laughs> I want to share a cup of tea with her. She's that kind of person. And I really enjoy, in the mornings, I make my daughter breakfast and I listen to her YouTube. And it had become just one of our habits. But whenever she posts, I'm like, yay, she's posted, yay, she's posted. <laughs> so um, I went, oh, I went to Washington. I was on a solo journey and I wanted to speak to um, the forest and the area and the land. And I had some questions about people and compassion. I had something happen in my reality where I looked back and I was shocked by the lack of empathy, care, compassion, kindness, awareness. And um, in Washington on my trip, I was like, I asked the universe, show me more compassion. I want to see it. I want to see people um, with structured moral belief behind their words. <laughs> so anyhow, enter in. I, I don't remember how soon I had found Kate compared to this, but Kate was new in my reality. And I was asking for compassion from the universe. And then she's like, okay, all of, I, I, don't, I don't remember how she refers to us, but her platform. She's like, put in the word compassion. And now it's one of my favorite things. Whenever I see the word compassion on her forum, I like it and I send the energy that direction. So working with compassion, that it came in many other avenues, but the um, it was such a delight, an unspoken need that I had that the universe said, deliver up, here you go. She is a delight to watch to um, be able to share. She, sometimes she goes on these uh, rants and I love her rants, her little soapbox. <laughs> so anyhow, back when I was in Washington, a year-ish plus ago, <laughs> I'm trying to remember when, somewhere on my phones I'll have dates. But I ordered her, this is her Oracle cards. And um, I was a random person off her Etsy account. And here, we'll, we'll pick one. And um, her account, depending on her schedule, she's moving and busy and a force to be reckoned with. Um, I was able to order it off Etsy and get a reading and she made these herself. So kind of amazing. I'm gonna pull one card and I'm gonna show you this little box. Oh, there you go. Your words echo in my mind. I really like the background of that. And this one, it's funny, it fell on my parrot. <laughs> you have to put back down again. Um, your loving light into my life. So let me see if you guys can get a close up. The glare might be too much. So these are just two of her cards. And eventually, not in my now, because I had, I'm busy and not ready to project this direction until after my trip. I'll be with you in one moment. Your food is ready on the oven. Um, sorry. So, anyways, this I got out from Kate when I ordered from her Etsy account. I absolutely adore her cards. I like the images on them. And in her platform, she'll discuss uh, 
uh, mythologies, places, areas, animals. She does research and then she speaks on the, uh, my wording, not hers, energetic aspects of what those qualities bring out. And she does it so effortlessly, it's gorgeous. So this is the gift that she gave me. And I loved it because my daughter, we were, um, I, she's in a place where she requires uniforms and we were trying to find pants and we couldn't find any that fit. And we were both just frustrated. And we're in the store, we're trying to get what we need. She looks over and she points to these necklaces and she goes, mom, I'd love to have a choker. One, I don't really wear chokers. Um, but two, I was like, <laughs> Shh, I'm talking about that too. <laughs> so, Kate, <laughs> I, I, I've been, she does these uh, thank you to her subscribers, and you can win things and congratulate, encourage other people winning things. She just adds joy. She sent me this, and it was like, and look at the box it came in. No peeking. You can open yours up later. Shoo, 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 shoo. No peeking. I don't want my daughter to see it because she actually is going to get it. But until then, before she opens it, I wanted to show you. So, isn't that beautiful? And the black stone that um, has a lot to do with purification, protection, cleansing. I. Um, it came right when I needed it. Just like the compassion throughout the community. Seeing that every time I see that word, I just love it. It's compassion and kindness. It's who we are. We are um, innately good people. And the fear factor and fear communities and fear programming, and they uh, put up defenses to where you don't connect with what's right next to you and what's right in front of you. And anyways, paying attention to fear frequency. Oh, this is the card that came. It just... <laughs> it was like everything I needed right when I needed it. And she'll she'll tell you very clearly, she's not psychic. Um, to me, I think the energy of the heart is aware before the energy of the brain. Um, and I know I'm generalizing because I don't wish to go on a rant right now. But... <laughs> <laughs> I have fun rants too. Um, the heart is wise, and when you follow your intuitive guidance, the um, you start connecting your psychic heart to your intuitive guidance to like your linear thought, and things happen in your reality that are what you need when you need it, how you need it. That whole divine timing thing. So, that being said. I'm pulling these cards of um, sacred geometry is something I see I, and I play with often. Um, so I'm going to pull a blessing to the collective. And these are the cards that I'm using. These are two different sacred geometry decks. And in one of my other videos, I uh, talk about uh, where it's from. And the more organized me will have them all listed so that way if you like a deck, you can get your own deck. This is from Kate's Regretless Life. Um, her Etsy account. This was a gift um, she provides to everybody who views and spends time, energy, and effort watching her. Um, so, these um, I, I got off the of Amazon and I've been utilizing them. Maybe not 2017, but around there. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm going to pull one card for the collective. And we're going to send some, oh, that's not one card. Three. <laughs> Transparency, compassion, abundance. We, we have to take it. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do. We're going to spread compassion, kindness, authentic care. We're going to send that around, and then it hits those in need that are asking. I'm going to do a little bit of light language. Allowance, good. Because I was just thinking, oh, my language is okay. Which is interesting because I just, um, I've been really focused on the sounds that I've been harnessing in on. All right, put your feet on the ground. You want to feel energy moving up from the soles of your feet. And pay attention to your breath. 
I'm going to move the energy and set it up with my light language. And then we're going to pull one final card to ask about the light language. Part of that is because the linear mind um, cause and effect. Um, part of training program is terrible. But like when I want to encourage my children, I encourage them with cause and effect. This to this to that. And um, that encourages them to make their own choices. We're all sovereign. We're all um, drops of God. <laughs> it's kind of awe-inspiring when you look around and realize how unique and individual. Each person has their own chemical reality of thoughts to things to how they feel to how they think. And what Kate brings on, no one else could do. Only she could do that. Oh, and you can see her background, and she'll she'll switch out her background. She, it, it's she's fun and entertaining um, to watch. So um, let's bring energy towards compassion for the collective, focused um, with timing, that what you need when you need, and. She didn't do this for me. She did this because of who she is. And that benefited me <laughs> because of who she is. That is pure. And I love that kind of energy. So compassion. Feet on the floor, feel the energy. I'll be moving and shifting it around you, bringing it from your ankles up to your neck. Focus on your ankles. Bring it up to your knees. Embody it in your hips. Energy in your hips, <laughs> your hips help you move forward. To the back of the neck. Burdens that are not yours can be slept on. Compassion. To the crown chakra. To cosmic intelligence. Rain down to the feet. Cleanse and start a cycle. Repeat cycle. And disperse. <coughs> You can set up healing patterns just as effectively as you can set up destructive patterns. We're really good at smoking, drinking, popping pills, um, finger pointing, blaming, that kind of stuff. We're good at it because it's something we're accustomed to. People, ourselves, others have done it often. Um, embodying joy, peace, serenity, Calmness, that is priceless. Absolutely priceless. Compassion. A lot of people have went through things that are very, um, cause difficulty. And if you aren't hurt that way, it's really simple. To hug them for the pains that they've suffered. If you are hurt that way and you've transmuted that energy, you can also, your hug is simply healing for them because, yeah, I've been there, I've done it. I've been through that. I've suffered that. I felt that. It's no longer attached to my emotional body because it's been transmuted and cleansed. So, um, one more card. I gotta wrap this up because. Things are happening fast. <laughs> All right, one card, please. The light language 
to the collective with our compassionate intent. Light language to the Two king. Delight. Oops, sorry. Delight. Kindness. Kindness and compassion. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I um I would like to link her channel. I do it to my Facebook thing. I've got a Facebook page that keeps notes for me. Um, open to the pub public. But um, I'm not sure if it would be permissible for me to connect and tag her. She has many followers and um, I don't wish to uh, disrupt her flow. So I'll mention her. And if I get the go ahead, I will link her. There's another person that I'd like to speak on. Um, she'll have her own segment and it's when I get back from Peru. But um, there are, I want to talk about healers I've come across and the ways that they've uplifted, embraced, and helped me. And um, anyhow, so it is what it is. Have a good day. Take care. Be good.